Welcome to our fifth tutorial about fluid mechanics. Finally, we are leaving chapter 1. But this tutorial is something that you have learned in thermodynamics, and that is pressure measurement. But before we continue, let's recall what is hydrostatic pressure. If we have a tank of liquid, specific rate gamma, then the pressure difference between this point and this point, 1 and 2, P2 minus P1 equals gamma H where h equals this distance, that is the depth of fluid between the two points. So the first instrument that we are looking at, and it measures the atmospheric pressure. Let's say we are at 20 degrees Celsius. Then water and mercury has these properties. If this is a barometer, then in this region, there is some vapor of this liquid and nothing else. So the pressure here is the vapor pressure of this liquid at 20 degrees Celsius. The outer pressure here is of course the atmospheric pressure that we are measuring. Then the pressure difference between these two points is given by PATM minus PV equals gamma H. If the surrounding pressure is exactly atmospheric pressure, and that is 101 kilo Pascal. If the barometer is made of water or mercury, then the vapor pressure is negligible since PATM is much greater than PV. Now we have PATM approximate E equals to gamma H. So H approximately equals PATM divided by gamma. If we are using water, then the column height is 10.3 meters. And for mercury, that is 76 centimeters. So it makes much more sense to use a mercury barometer instead of a water barometer, as shown in the figure. The second device that we are looking at is a differential manometer. We directly look at examples for this. Let's label points 1 and 2 in the manometer and to use the gamma H rule in the beginning of the video. Looking at point 1 and point A, the difference in level is 0.5 plus 0.6 meter. So we can write down P1 minus PA equals gamma water 0.5, 0.6. And this gives. And similarly, for points 1 and 2, we can write. And we know that point 2 is above point 1. So pressure of point 2 is less than point 1. And for point 2 and point B, combining all this equation, that gives with enough practice, you may be able to write the combined version of the equations directly. Now we continue our business and we find that PA minus PB equals equals and that is negative 3.33 kilo pascal. The negative sign denotes that pressure at B is in fact higher than that of A. We look at today's last example. This question is not that easy. We first imagine what happens as the pressure in A decreases and the pressure in B remains unchanged as described in the question. So you can imagine it's Harry Potter versus Voldemort. If Voldemort is running out of power, and this globe of light will come here, and this length will decrease, and Harry Potter is winning, so its length is increasing. If this pressure goes down, and this level will go up, and this level will go down. But what happens to the mercury in between? Would its volume decrease? No, its length is going to be unchanged, since liquid has high bulk modulus. It requires significant increase in pressure in both pipes in order to shorten the liquid. But why these liquid columns shorten and lengthen? It is because the liquid columns are in fact connected to the pipe. You expect after the pressure reduction in A, the SG0.9 is back flowing into pipe A, and the water is flowing into the barometer from pipe B. And we start doing the math. Note that the specific gravity for mercury is 13.55. And let us write down the equations like the previous example to describe the pressure difference between A and B before the pressure change. Let's label point 1 and point 2. 
and with some practice you will be able to write So let's draw what happens after the pressure change. This goes up and this goes down. If this length is A, this length is 2A. So this length is 2A. So we have PB minus PA prime equals Let's label this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. If we subtract the second equation by the first equation, then we have PA minus PA prime equals But this guy equals 10 kilopascal. 10 kilopascal equals A gamma water times negative 0 0.9 plus 3 times 13.6 minus 2 equals. So A equals 10k divided by 37.9 gamma water. And that is. 0.02924 meter. But the question actually asks for this length, and this length is 4a, this length is 2a. So we conclude that the new reading is 0 0.05, the original value, plus 2a plus 4a, and that is 0 0.212 meter. So today we did a review about barometer and manometer. We also went through two examples about manometer. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any questions and give us any feedback in the comments.